Hi, my fourth graders. Okay, so Mrs. Edding's class, Mrs. Hall's class, and Mrs. Tatro's class. I am talking to you, all right? I entered grades, two grades. Um, one was from virtual learning day one, and then the second grade was from virtual learning day four, okay? I graded our quizzes in our writing prompt. I put those into power school, and some of the grades were terrifying. Okay, so if you've checked your grades and you've noticed that your grade does not look good right now, I'm giving you a second chance, okay? And I'm doing this for these first two grades since virtual learning is brand new to all of us. So I am not saying that I will continue to do this throughout our online journey, but for the first two grades in here, I'm doing it for you guys, okay? I went back and gave you a second attempt on the pronoun quiz, it's the first day. So if you go back into virtual learning day one and you click on the poem, the poem is what you'll need to read and look through and then you need to make sure that you know what a pronoun is before you move on to take the quiz. And the quiz is just how many pronouns did you find in that poem, okay? Below this video, I have a poster of all the pronouns, or most of the pronouns, and you guys know pronouns. I know you do. We've we've learned it this year. I know you've learned it and worked on it in third grade and second grade, so please, please, please make sure that you only count the number of pronouns in the poem, okay? So you get a second chance to redo that, and I will take your highest score, all right? So if you have a five out of 10 in power school on that, you need to if you have a six out of 10 in power school, that's a D minus, you might wanna retake it, okay? So head back over to virtual day one, do that again, and I will record the highest score, all right? Also for virtual day four, that was on the Friday, it was a writing prompt. It was a day in the life writing prompt, so I thought it would be a fun um, way so that you guys can write a lot and keep up your writing stamina. I need for you guys to have at least 10 sentences as fourth graders going into fifth grade. You can give me at least 10 sentences of your whole entire day, okay? So start from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to bed at night, and you will have way more sentences than 10, I promise. Some of you did give me a lot of really good detail, which I loved. I loved reading all of your responses. Some of you gave me one sentence, okay? So in power school, if you have a five out of ten. I suggest you go back and just write a whole nother um, day you can do on on that, okay? If you have a six out of ten, that's still a D minus. So I'm giving everyone a second chance to do um, those two assignments again, and I will record the better score, okay? So please go check those out. Um, they won't stay published for a long period of time. So if you have all your work done from today or from the week and today's just your catch up day or review day, you don't really have anything to do, go back and fix those. All right, please, 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 I'm begging you, go back and check.